Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated in my latest videos. Today class, we're going to discuss about physics. So it's about work. But remember, when we hear the word work, normally to ordinary people, the word work means different kinds of activities with their mental and physical activities, or simpler job. Your concept of work is an activity that requires some kind of effort. However, in, physical, in physics rather, work is done when an object moves in the direction of a force applied to it. Now, I have first here what you call the formula on how to solve work. Remember, our formula is W is equal to F times D. That means to say F is dance for force. D is dance for distance. Work is equal to amount of force applied in the direction of motions. That means to say the movement times distance over which the force is being applied. Now class, we have first here Okay, guys, we have first here any questions. The first equation is that when a box, I'm going to add your line, is pushed at a horizontal distance of 0 0.5 meter or 0.5 meter by a horizontal force of what you call 10N or 10 newton this is actually 10 n okay how much work is done so the question is we're going to find it out the work with the equivalent the force and the distance so since our what we call formula is W is equal to F times D or work is equal to force times distance. We're going to find it out the given. Okay, proper class. Given first, we're going to find first the force and then the distance. We are first here, 10 and where did I get 10 and We have what we call a horizontal force. From here, class, horizontal force of 10 and That's why I write here 10 and then distance, we have horizontal distance of 0.5 meter or 0 0.5 meter. Now, I'm going to give you the solution on how to solve our problem. First, I'm going to write the word W is equal to, of course, our formula F times D is equal to, so we have first our force. I'm going to write the force class. Close and open parenthesis. Don't forget to write it. 10 n then since multiplication this symbol class is what we call multiplication i'm going to write 0 0.5 meter then i'm going to multiply 10 times 0 0.5 by how i will show you for 10 times 0 0.5 0 times 5 is 0 1 times 5 is 5. 0 0.5, let's count. 1. So our answer is 5.0 or Z, J rather. 5.0 Joule. So our answer now is 5J. Why J teach around? J is the unit for work, that is Joule. Okay, this is, this is a unit of work being joule unit for work like that okay so simple class you multiply 10 and 2.5 meter so our unit of unit for work is j that is joule stands for joule Next, I will give you another and exciting exercises on how you are going to solve the following problems. 
number two, we have how much work is done by an Olympic swimmer while running a 150 meter dust with a force of 7N. Okay, so try to analyze first class how we are going to solve it. So we're going to find first the given. So we're going to find first the force and then the distance. Okay, in our example here, we have 150 meter dust. So we're going to think 150 meter dust. So belongs to distance. I'm going to write 150 m short for meter. What about force teacher Ram? Yes, of course, you can call me teacher Ram or teacher Raf. So I'm going to write here 7 n. Okay, that's for Newton. Okay. And what about the solution? So we are going to solve now. Okay, so we have here work is equal to F times D class is equal to same procedure 7N times 150M. That's for meter. So we are going to multiply 7 times 150. I will show you how to multiply. Step by step, 150 times 7. So first, here 0 times 7, we're going to focus it, 0 times 7, to our viewers we have 0, 5 times 7 we have 35, we will bring down guys 5, then we group 3 for the next number being multiplied, 1 times 7 guys is 7, then don't forget to add the regroup number, 7, 8, 9, 10. So therefore guys, we're going to count first, 1, 2, 3, we put the comma, so our answer is 1,000. 50. We can write it N or J. That's Joule or Newton. That's for number two. Please follow, guys. <coughs> Remember, you are going to master or memorize the formula in finding the work. Remember physics is very much important class remember if you know how to uh, what we call the solve different equations in physics the secret is that you are going to familiarize the what we call the formula number three question we have we are going to determine <clears throat> in which situation you do more work that means to say guys we are going to think what particular situations we have a and b so we have both situations we're going to think what particular situations that we exert more work that means to say you do more work or you are going to exert work that means to say guys you think the right answer for which is letter a do you think that you left or you do more work or B it might be but we are going to solve it please watch my values we have first here our given is five kilogram and then two meter of the floor that is you left a five kilogram cat and two meter off the floor whereas number letter B rather you left a 10 kilogram dog but the distance is one meter off the floor and how to solve it okay we're going to uh, what we call shortcut method to solve it we have 5 kg times 2 m so remember class this one is m is the distance kg is what we call our force means to say we exert force to do work that means to say we are always find the work okay now we're going to multiply it five times two so separate class there are two five so we're going to write it ten okay then what is the unit for measurement chair kilogram and meter so we can write it remember there is a unit for kilogram and meter we can write ten and also 
Maybe that's the unit, uh, what we call this a unit for work. Our answer is 10 m Next, number two. You lift a 10 kilogram dog with one meter off the floor. So simple. We're going to write our 10 kg or kilogram times 1 m. So when you multiply, guys, 10 times 1, that's the whole number. So we're going to write here 10 kilogram and meter. So we're going to change it and or for newton. Giraffe or giram. And answer for a number, letter A rather and B is still the same. But the question is, we're going to determine in which situations you do more work. When we think class, our word problem A and B, we chose A. Why? A is what we call the situations we do more work. Why? And distance, 2 meter. Whereas in B, one matter i am right or are you just confusing class okay this is very much interesting and in solving physics remember physics can help us to motivating us our minds of course through memorizing the formula hope everyone especially students viewers thank you for watching my videos and God bless everyone and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to Ram's Tutorial Vlog. God bless everyone.